All right, so here you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how it's going to work today. I got a couple things to review with you, and then we're going to go through uh, our geometry terms. Um, we're going to look at them, and we're going to break them down. So, first thing I need you to do is get your homework out from last night. I'm going to come around and check it. Get your homework out from last night. I'm going to come around and check it. As I'm checking in your homework, I want you to look at your screen. As I'm checking in your homework, I want you to look at your screen. I got numbers two and five from the homework. I want you to go ahead and put them on this whiteboard. Two and five, I want you to put them on this whiteboard. If you don't have a marker at your table, let me know. You would hand it to the circle one spot, right? And you can use the T there and put like an A over here. You see what I'm saying? In geometry, we have tons of terms. So what I did for you is I took all the terms that we've been studying throughout this entire semester and put them on a paper. I right, call the word bank or a, a word uh, word, splash, word splash, whatever you want to call it. You got a bunch of words on here. All right, these are all the words that you're going to show up on your final exam. Now, there could be some advanced words that aren't on here, but all the words that you need to be proficient for this exam is going to be on this list. All right? So what I need you guys to do is read this list. Any question that you have, any word that you don't recognize, or any word that you're having a hard time defining, put a little mark by it and then ask your group about it. I'm going to give you three minutes to do that. You should be able to read these very quickly. Three minutes, read it really quickly. Any, any word that you don't understand or you forgot, put a mark by it, ask your group. All right, I'll check back with you, if, with you in a couple minutes. Okay, so what do you think, kind of? Okay. Nice. Does that make sense, though? Okay. There you go. So you got, you got a good resource. You got a circle? Watch circle one spot. One of the ones. There's a tangent. That's a tangent. Concentric circle. Draw me a circle. Put a circle inside that circle. Full side. Okay. Yeah, concentric circle. Skewed lines. Yeah, maybe it's a great yeah. idea. <laughs> it's a really good idea. Okay. Okay. Right, so this is how it's going to work. We're going to play a game. There's six teams in here. All right, we're going to take the words from here. We're going to throw them into uh, kind of like a Jeopardy idea where I'm going to get you guys in groups. So you're going to write an answer down, and then we're going to go ahead and keep score. The winner, the winner I'm going to give you extra credit, okay? The winner's going to get two frees on the exam. So say in the exam you get six wrong, I'm going to pretend you only got four wrong. Okay, so the winner, the group that wins, gets two free answers on the exam. Make sense? So we're playing for something here. All right, so here we go. Which one do you want? So goes 20. Circles for 20. Circles for 20. 20 points. Oop, sorry about that. All right. Two points on a circle. Two points on a circle and the continuous part of the circle between them. All right, so think. This group's got five seconds to go. If they don't get it right, it's to you guys. If you don't get it right, it's to you. This goes fast, okay? You know it. Write it on your board. Put, it up, put the answer on your board. Put your answer on your board. Because if they miss, it, it might come to you. So. Two points on a circle. And the continuous part of the circle between that. Group number four. One, two, three, four. Nope, incorrect. Group number five. Incorrect. Group number six. Come on, guys, have some fun with this. We should have picked two. Oh, close, but no. Oh, this one's going to make it all the way around. Group number two. No. I'm sorry, no one gets these points. I'm sorry, no one gets these points. All right. I want you to look at this. Here's a circle, right? 
Yes. It says two points on a circle and everything in between. What's this called right here? What's that called? An arc or a minor arc. I was looking for just the word arc. If you would have gotten me the word arc, it would have been happy. All right, let's go back. All right, everyone is working on the do not, and you have about two more minutes on it. Taylor, I will look. I'm going to give you two more minutes on the do now. Next question coming up. All right, the yellow person is going to be doing the writing, the inside person. Question is the data set and the mode and the median. You have to put the data set. Yeah. Five. You got it. You got it. Kayla, what did you get? Let me see your board. All right, show me what you have.